Let's review the immune system in less than 3 minutes. First let me, to introduce the members, of this system. From the myoblast family, we have, neutrophil and monocyte. And from the lymphoid family, we have twins, B, and T lymphocytes, and Mr. Natural Killer. They are, all fighting the invaders, such as bacteria or virus, that enter our body. But first, the invader should be able to pass our physical barriers, such as our skin and mucosal layers. In the invader passes the physical barriers, for example when you have a paper cut on your finger, first neutrophils will deal with them. By killing invaders, neutrophils will die and the remains, is what we call, pus. If the invaders survive, the monocytes will come out of blood circulation, and change to macrophages, and practically, eat the invaders. After phagocytosis, macrophage puts some of the proteins of the invader on his membrane, like a medallion or a trophy. The combination of physical barriers, neutrophils, and monocytes is called innate or nonspecific immune system. But what will happen if the innate immune system fails? And our enemy even become a bigger problem? In this case, the B cells are eventually will meet the invader and start cloning and produces an army of itself, with specific antibody against the invader, or antigen. Some of the clones, will change to memory cells. They keep the genetic information of antigen. The majority will become effectors, and produce antibodies all over the body to kill the invader. They live 4 to 5 days. Memory cells live longer and are ready to run the same fight, if the same invader enter the body. We call it secondary exposure. And this is the basic logic of vaccination. The function of B cells in production of antibody and keeping the memory of enemy is our humoral immune system. But, what if the humoral immune system doesn't work and our enemy gets stronger? Well, there is still one battle left, which is called cell mediated, which involves T cells and natural killer cells. As you remember, macrophages were carrying some proteins from the pathogen. And T cell can use those proteins and start the cloning, like its brother. And produces effectors and memory cells, plus some other types of T cells, such as regulatory. And hopefully stop the invasion. The combination of cell mediated and humoral immune system, known as adaptive immune system. And here comes a recap. Thank you for listening.